Hey everybody, Last Outrider here. Welcome to another 40k video. This time we're celebrating the new series, Grey Knights. Yay! And, for those who it applies to, happy birthday. Anyways, we're going to get right into it now. With the Grey Knights and the Army of Titan. A light against the darkness. The Grey Knights stand against the greatest threat humanity has ever faced. They are the champions of reason, order, and righteousness, holding back demons and the scions of the Dark Gods. They are the Imperium's mightiest weapon against the warp, superhuman Astartes Psychers, and its single enduring hope for salvation. There is no greater threat to the galaxy than the denizens of the warp and the ruinous powers that rule them. Demons and gods, these otherworldly horrors tear at the veil between the realm of chaos and the reality of the physical world. Hungry for the souls of men and the ruin of worlds, if left unchecked and unopposed, demons would claim the universe for their own, pulling down the pillars of creation and fashioning an ever, a never-ending nightmare where once the galaxy had been. Demons are unlike any foe the Imperium faces, and against their unnatural horror, men can find themselves powerless. The Emperor's armies are vast and numerous, from the void-born fleets of the Imperial Navy and the endless ranks of the Astra Militarum, to the superhuman Space Marines and the unimaginably powerful Titan Legions. Mortal foes, cannot stand against the Imperium when it is roused to war. But the demon is not mortal. History has proven that all men can be corrupted and even the mighty Space Marine chapters are not immune to the unholy temptations of the Dark Gods. Humanity's Shield The Grey Knights were created alongside the Inquisition and their goals are intertwined. They should be the staunch allies of the Inquisition's Ordo Malleus, fashioned in the image of the Space Marine chapters. Their battle brothers augmented by the Emperor's advanced science and genetic experimentation. Blessed with both superhuman physiology and the most advanced weaponry, the great weaponry, the Grey Knights would be the elite of the Apteftus Astartes. However, it would be not be enough for them merely to be strong of body and skilled at war. In this, they surpass even other space marines. To fight the demon, however, the Grey Knight would need to be pure of heart as well, with an unblemished soul in which the warp could find no purchase. To combat demonkind, all Grey Knights are trained to bend the powers of the warp to their will, and each one is a powerful psyker. Mundane blades and guns will not suffice against the demonic foe. And so the Emperor ensured that the Grey Knights would have the skill to turn the weapons of the warp against its denizens. Few mortal minds can master the powers of the warp without becoming infected by the corruption of that ether realm. And many human psychers in their days wailing in madness or tearing at their ruined flesh with bloody fingers. Grey Knights, however, are unique in their control of their psychic gifts. Their purity of soul and strength of will, an impregnable wall against which the horrors of the warp have no hope. Even the librarians of other chapters cannot match the psychic mastery of the Grey Knights and must always be vigilant against the insidious threat of possession or madness brought about by coming into contact with the warp. A Grey Knight does not gaze into the warp and fear what lurks within. Rather, the creatures of the warp 
recoil from him. Like the space marines of the Adeptus Astartes, the Grey Knights are few in number, a mere handful when counted against the vast span of the galaxy and the countless foes of the Imperium. However, even a handful of these expert warriors are enough to turn the tide of a battle or vanquish a determined foe. There are few enemies of the Emperor that can hope to stand against a great knight, even when they outnumber him many times over. And here's your quote. Why should I fear the demon? He has no power over me. Brother Captain Castavar Dark. Bam. And for the next time, we shall have a blade against chaos. And that will be part two of the Grey Knight series. Until then, bye.